everyone, welcome back to Login Helps. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to join group on Flipgrid. Keep watching the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button. Press the notification bell icon so that you'll never miss another update from us. In order to join a group on Flipgrid as a student, the first thing you'll need to have is a join-in code or a join-in link. If you don't have a school-provided email, then your educator should give you a unique student username or guest password. If you have any one of those three, you can easily join a group on Flipgrid. Tap open your Flipgrid application and as soon as you open the app, you'll be able to see this kind of an interface. As a student, enter a join-in code, scan a QR code or manage your group and topics in the dashboard. Let me enter my join-in code that my educator has provided for me. Type in the join-in code into the enter the join-in code text box and tap on go. Enter your student username in the text box. If you'd like yourself to be remembered, you can leave this box checked where it says Remember Me. If not, uncheck this box and tap on Go. As soon as you do that, you'll end up in the topic. Now, once you're ready to record a response, simply go to Add Response button at the bottom to bring out the camera menu. Allow Flipgrid to take pictures and record video by tapping Allow. And now, the last step that you'll need to perform is to record and submit. Once you've joined and end up to the Flipgrid camera screen, you can tap on the record button at the bottom. As you can see it in a white circle, you can also add some cool effects, stickers, text, photos, GIFs, and much more to your video. After you're done, tap next and tap on the next button one more time into the submit video screen, enter your name, add a title or attach a link, and then submit. That is how you can easily join a discussion for Flipgrid. I hope you found the video to be helpful. If you did, Go ahead and give us a thumbs up, comment down below in the comment box if you have a question or a feedback for us. I'll soon be back with more tutorial episodes, goodbye till then.